our Ivy Bridge interview now. Vanessa, can you please tell me your full name, your first and last Chinese name? Uh, my first name is Xiao Tong, and my family name is Li, L-I. Okay, and what is your American name? Uh, Vanessa. Okay, Vanessa, that's a beautiful name. How did you pick that name? <laughs> uh, actually, it's my mom's friend, Hao helped me to pick that name because I heard that in Indian words it means butterflies so uh, they picked that name for me oh wow I never knew that about that name I didn't know it meant <gasps> butterfly that's really beautiful <laughs> Vanessa <laughs> what what grade are you in now I'm in grade 8 now mm -hmm. and what grade will you be applying to grade 9 okay and have you ever taken any English exams like the TOEFL test? Yes. Uh, actually, my TOEFL is 98. Wow. Great job. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really, really great. Have you ever um, studied English or lived in a different country? Actually, no. How is your English is wonderful? Ah. Uh, because when I was young, and um, I started to learn English in my kindergarten and at school, we also has we also mm -hmm. has English classes. And during free time, I sometimes read English books and watch English movies, uh, something like that. Mm -hmm. Your pronunciation is fabulous. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> Did you study at an international school? Actually, no. Uh, I study in a public school, a public day school. Mm -hmm. And do your parents speak English? No. <laughs> their, their English is not pretty good. <laughs> oh, that's understandable. Do you have a tutor that teaches you how to speak English? Uh, actually, I just learn English at school, and I sometimes uh, talk with some foreigners uh, in some parks. Oh, you talk to foreigners in parks? What do you mean? Yes, uh, because there is a park near my home that, uh, like, uh, like foreigners gather. Uh, in that place and we can talk together with them. Oh, that's really great. So you meet with some um, some people who can speak English, natives, some native speakers who live in yes. China. Yes. Wow. Maybe that's what has helped your speaking ability. Yes, how I long, think so. Yeah, how long have you been doing that? About two years. Mm, that must be very fun. Yes. <laughs> what do you enjoy most about that? I think is um, I can know more about how they get along with people, and I can also know that how do other how um, like some of their cultures, like once. I talked with an American, mm -hmm. and um, he's like at the age of uh, 20 or more. Uh, I think from the conversation, I can learn that Americans are all very outgoing <laughs> and friendly and, and talkative. <laughs> <laughs> So, and also, I can know something about the culture. Oh, like, what what have you learned, for example? Like some of the history. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, actually, from the conversation, I know that, uh, and I have a, a personal hero, Franklin D. Roosevelt. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, uh, I know that uh, how the the uh, how the how it's like what happened in the past to form like 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 today's 
society, mm-hmm. American society, because actually, I I I learn American history not only from him but also from myself. It's like uh, I study. I've already studied American history, mm-hmm. and so I'm interested in that. And I, I and from from. From the talk to him, I can also know that American is uh, America is like a country that has variety of cultures, uh, because peoples from uh, different countries they all went to America. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's very true. America is a very、yeah. special place because so many different diverse cultures live here. So that's what one kind of reason that I want to go to America to study. Uh huh. Have you ever been to America to visit? Yes.、Uh, the first time is to like for a travel, and after that travel, I decided that. I should go to America to study because I think that's a wonderful environment to study and a wonderful environment to live. <laughs> so the second time I went to America is to visit some schools. Oh, and、uh, where did you visit? Like,、uh, I visited like just one university is MIT and、uh, some. Other boarding schools. Uh huh. And what、Love、impressed、it. you about America?、Uh, what、I、made you want? Uh huh. Sorry. Continue. What were you saying? Uh, I think that's all. <laughs> what impressed you about America? What made you want to study here? Um, it's because uh I saw some not only the wonderful. So, A wonderful like facilities or equipments at school, but also, I think all the schools are like are like、uh, the big family and teachers are like、uh, their parents. So, I want my teachers to be、uh, another parents because yet near our school, I also like my environment. But there are forty three students in a class. That's a big. Sides.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, secondly, is I want to like experience another kind of education. Because you know, in China, I'm in a public day school. So in America, I want to go to a private school to study, and、uh, I I believe that、um, I can make some progress. And thirdly, I think is I want to learn more about the American culture.、Mm. I'm interested in American culture.、Uh, yeah, that's really wonderful. So, do you wish to go to American University as well? Yes. Oh, okay, that's great. What would you like to study in university? Business. Hmm. Ah,、uh, actually, um, recently. Uh, because I want to learn business in a university, so recently I bought a book. It's about business law, and、wow. I'm I'm reading it now. And、mm-hmm. um, because I think that if I want to start my own business, I I must know more about more about the law because、uh, I think that is important to 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 per. Tag myself.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, And, that's really great.、Um, did somebody buy,、uh, help you to choose this book, or what made you want to read about this book, or business law?、Uh, because actually,、uh, in our school, we have a classes about law, and my classmates.、Uh, They have speeches to talk about different laws, and at that time, I'm interested in、uh, something about business law because I because I want to start my own business in the future. So I think I must read something about business law. Business law, you know, in order to、uh, protect myself, not not like others. 
can't um, like they they can't uh, they. Like I can protect not only myself but also my company and my employees,、mm-hmm. something like that.、Mm-hmm. What kind of class are you taking where you talk about things like this? It's in in my daily school. Oh wow, that's very interesting. Yeah, I I like my school's classes.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, when you.、Uh, Work and maybe own your own company one day. What kind of company would you like to own? Ah,、uh, actually, I dream of having my own designing company. Oh, yes, yes, I like designing patterns and different products. And we also have a class at school. It's about design. It's called designing DIY class.、Mm-hmm. And I've already designed a pair of shoes and a cup, so I think designing things is extremely interesting because <laughs> it, I can record my sudden feeling、uh, in this way, and also I can like after I finish that product, I have a feel of success because I know that、uh, I can design. Something in our daily life, and I can use them to do something. So, so that's why I like designing, and I dream of having my own designing company. Wow, that's really great! I hope you can accomplish your dreams one day. Yes, and also in my company,、uh, I will accept some new graduates that are not. Popular in other among other companies, because I think、uh, those new graduates they don't have enough working experiences and they might find an unsatisfying job and unsatisfying salary. So if they can、uh, be in my company. I believe that they can bring some new concepts or some new ideas to my company, and also they can find a satisfying job.、Mm-hmm. What made you think about、um, your future employees? Um, I think is now in the society, the whole like. Uh, many new graduates they can't find their jobs, so I think they're、uh, is they're very well educated. However, they can't get a great job. I don't think it's fair for them because just because they don't have enough working experiences and. Uh, I think their parents pay much attention on their education, but they can't get any pay. So, so、uh, I think it's not a really great thing in the society. So maybe I think in my future company, I will accept my employees、uh, for some like some new graduates, and I also give give them the benefits as much as I can. Wow,、um, how do you know so much about、um, running a company? Do you know somebody who runs a company? Ah,、uh, actually, my dad is a businessman. Uh huh. <sighs> so does he speak to you about his experiences? Actually, he just owned a small company, and、uh, he treat he treats his employees very well.、Uh-huh. So that's one reason that. Uh, in the future, I I want to have、uh, an employee that I can treat them well, and we can benefit each other.、Mm-hmm. Um, what kind of lessons have you learned from your father that you think will be great for you in your future as a as a company owner? Actually, my father. Comes from a small town, and at first he came to Beijing, and、um, he's extremely poor. He has no pl- he had no place to live, and on、um, once 
uh, his money at first for the first few months. He earned some money by like, uh, by sending some goods to places like not not is something like, uh, postman, and his money was was stolen by others. Mm. So, uh, and he, he at that time he didn't give up to live in a big city. Uh, and he, like, he, after that, he started to work harder, and he, and he owned his own company now. So from his experience, I learned that uh, we should never give up, although we failed for many times. And I think if we want to success, if we want to succeed, and you, and if we want to like uh, bring happiness to people around us. We should we should never give up, and we should talk to ourselves that uh, we can succeed, and we have the energy, we have the ability to succeed, and we must work hard. Mm -hmm. Those I are some really all. those are some really great lessons that you learned from your father. Yes. Yeah. Well, I wish you the very, very best. And <laughs> <laughs> where would you like to attend school in America? Would you like to attend school um, in the East Coast? Yes, uh, especially in the New England area. And I think the East Coast is, I like the East Coast, not only because the education there, there are many, many good schools at at the East Coast, but also because um, the development in the East Coast, I think, is is very, very good. Mm -hmm. I agree. Well, we'll definitely find some wonderful schools for you on the East Coast, okay? Yeah, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. I would love to help you. Okay, we're going to move <laughs> on to the reading passage. Do you see yes. the passage that I just sent to you on the message? Yes. Okay. Would you please read it out loud so I can okay. hear? Okay. Jack London's story, Call of the Wild, House of Buck, a dog stolen from California who is taken to Alaska during the Klondike gold rush in the late 1890s. Buck becomes a sled dog, part of a team that transports supplies and people through the harsh winters. It was inevitable that the clash of leadership should come. Bug wanted it. He wanted it because it was his nature. Because he had, he he had been gripped tight by that nameless incomprehensible pride of the tail and trace. That pride which holds the dog into the toil to the last gasp, uh, which, oh, actually I don't know that word, uh, which lures them to die joyful in the harness and breaks their hearts if they are cut off the harness. There was the pride of days, as well that of soul leaks as he put with all his strength the pride that laid hold of them at break of camp, transforming them from soul and solemn brutes into straining, eager, ambitious creatures. The pride that spurred them on all day and dropped them at pitch of camp at night, letting them fall, fall back into gloomy unrest and discontent. This was the pride bore of spits and made him thrash these lad dogs who blood earned and sh and choked in the trace or hide away at harness time in the morning. Likewise, it was 
the sprite that made him fear Buck as possible lead as a possible lead dog, and this was Buck's pride too. Great job! You're a wonderful reader. Ah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>、um, and how was that passage for you? Was it difficult to understand? Um, I think、uh, this passage is is okay, and I think it's about.、Uh, I think this story is about a dog, and he was taken to Alaska during that gold rush time, and at at that time, I think actually he's he's not pretty happy, and he thought that. The it's not fair for him, and his pride got lost, and、uh, he lost his pride. But he had his own pride, and、um, he need to do lots of works, like um, and uh, he he is he is. Uh, straining, eager, and he has straining, eager, ambitious creatures, but、um, but actually, as the leader of、uh, as the leader of those dogs, as his pride,、uh, he 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 like I think. It's not a pretty lucky story, and、um, in and I I think that Buck is a kind of unfortunate dog.、Uh, as the leader of dogs, he had pride, and、um, and they but they died. Joyful in hardness.、Mm-hmm. And、um, that was a great summary. And why do you think?、Um, what quality do they have that makes them work so hard?、Um, I think it's straining, eager, ambitious. Yes, they are very eager and ambitious. They also have an immense amount of pride for their work. Yes. Yes. Very true. And、um, that was a really great summary. Were there any words here that you did not understand, or was most of the vocabulary okay for you? And、um, I think most of them is fine, but、mm-hmm. there are a few words like, um, I oh I can't find it now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's okay.、Uh, it seems like for the most part, it was very.、Um, you understood everything that you read. Yes, I think so. That's great. I'm very proud of you. I'm happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that concludes our interview, and we have to cut it short because I have another interview to do. But you did a great job today. Okay. Okay. Thank you. No problem.